Good morning, third graders. This is um, the second day of our review for Unit 4, and it is April 14th. And today we're going to start with number 6 in your workbook to practice for our test. So the bar graph shows the number of plants sold at a nursery. So just like we've always done in class, um, we always label the different um, sections of this graph. So there are 50 ferns, there are 650 flowers, and there are 400 shrubs. So we have to figure out how many more flowers does the nursery sell than ferns and shrubs combined. So we have to combine the ferns and the shrubs and find out how many more flowers there are than those two. So ferns plus shrubs would be, here's the shrubs, here are the ferns. Add those together and you get 450. And this is a two-step problem. Now we have to compare it to how many flowers are being sold. Well, there's 650 flowers and because we're comparing, we have to subtract. So we line up our hundreds, tens, and ones. Zero minus zero is zero. Five minus five is zero. Six minus four is two. So 200 more flowers are being sold at this um, nursery. Okay, so number seven. Oh, we're not done with number six. Number six, write and answer another question using the data from the graph. So we need to come up with another question using this data. And so I'm gonna say how many fewer ferns did the nursery sell than shrubs? So I put a capital at the beginning, I'm going to put a question mark at the end, and so using our graph, we know shrubs, there were 400 shrubs sold, and there were 50 ferns sold, so we want to find out how many more shrubs were sold than ferns. So zero minus zero is zero. Zero minus five can't do it, so we go next door to the hundreds place, make um, one of those hundreds into 10 tens. So now we can say 10 minus five is five, and three minus nothing is 350. So 350 more shrubs were sold. And going on to number seven, Estimate the length of the marker in inches, then measure it to the nearest one-fourth. So um, I'm going to guess that this marker, I think markers are maybe about three and a half inches long, and then I'm going to get out a ruler, or I actually will have to use a tape measure at our house because we don't, I don't think I have a ruler anywhere. Um, you could check the back of your math book to see if there's a ruler, but if you don't have a ruler, often families do have tape measures, so try using that. Um, I did actually measure it, and it should measure one, or I'm sorry, four and one-fourth inches. Number eight, Jeff has two shelves. The length of the wood shelf is two-fourths a meter, and the length of the metal shelf is two-eighths a meter. Which shelf is longer? Label and shade the circles to help solve the problem. So just like we do in class, oftentimes we change the name. So you can put your name, uh, let me get my tools here, sorry. Okay. So you can change this name to your own name and you can pretend that you have two shelves. And we're gonna say, this is the wood shelf over here and this is the metal shelf over here because this one has one, two, three, four equal parts and they're saying the wood shelf is two-fourths is the length of it, whereas the metal shelf is two-eighths meter. So I'm gonna shade two out of the eight here. 
and now it says which shelf is longer label and shade the circles to help solve the problem so my label is wood and metal so I'm done labeling I shaded already so I'm done shading um, and then it says which shelf is longer well you can see more of this shelf is shaded than this this is only a small part so we're going to say the wood shelf is longer number nine Tom measures the distances some softballs were thrown from home plate the results are shown in the line plot for numbers 9a through 9d select true or false for each statement so on this one we want to add our numbers so when someone threw from home plate they were able to throw five feet three people were able to draw, throw it six feet four people were able to throw seven feet um, five people were able to throw eight feet and I gotta make this a little bit bigger so I can really count those carefully one two three four five six seven seven people were able to throw from home plate nine feet six people were able to throw ten feet and wow five people were able to throw eleven feet that's a pretty good throwing arm so now we have to answer the questions. It says eight softballs are thrown five feet. So here's your five feet. Do you see eight softballs? I don't know, one person threw um, five feet. So that one is false. Next, 13 softballs are thrown less than nine feet. So less than nine feet are these numbers right here. So we have a five plus a four plus a three plus a one. And when you add all those up, you get, I usually do it like this. I do five plus four is nine and three plus four, three plus one is four. And then add those up and I get 13. So yes, that is true. Nine people, nine softballs were thrown less than nine feet. So you can't look at the nine feet. You have to do everything less than nine feet. Um, and I'm going to erase some of my work so I can see this question a little better. C. 11 softballs are thrown farther than 9 feet. So here's farther than 9 feet. Let me get a red pen and look here. This is farther than 9 feet. So these are the softballs that were th thrown 10 and 11 feet. So 6 plus 5 is 11 so that one is true and D um, four feet is the difference between the least and greatest distance thrown so they're asking us to look at the least distance and the greatest distance and they want us to look at the difference and anytime it's difference you subtract so 11 minus 5 equals six and they said it was four feet nope it's six feet so that is false the so third graders now it is time to switch over to your blue math test and you are going to work on numbers six through nine by yourself however anybody is in your house is able to read those to you you have to do all the solving and if you need to refer back to the review, that is just fine. You can go back to the review at any time.